Let's talk about the best cloud security and DevSecOps certifications. This time, we'll do it multi-level. Associate, professional, and expert. We're gonna do cloud security and DevSecOps only certifications. I know, there are many cybersecurity certifications out there. If the certification is not cloud or DevSecOps focus, no, we will not include it in the list. Think about this. Cloud security and DevSecOps are really a different world. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three vein tutorials in Cloud and Data Center, three vein tutorials in cybersecurity, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Under associate level, we have Microsoft Certified Azure Security Engineer Associate. And to attain this certification, you have to pass exam AZ-500, Microsoft Azure Security Technologies. This costs 165 US dollars. It consists of 40 to 60 questions in 150 to 210 minutes. All right, so candidates for this exam implements, manages, and monitor Azure security resources for both multi-cloud and hybrid cloud environment in an end-to-end -end infrastructure. They recommend security components and configuration to protect identity and access, data, application, and networks. And I realized that Microsoft have already well-known platforms such as Active Directory, MS SQL, or Microsoft SQL, and both can run in Azure environment. And these are already included in the certification under IAM or Identity and Access Management and Data Protection. All right, next. <laughs> we don't have next. We stop here. I don't know why Microsoft Azure created multiple certification specialization under associate level. Because most of cloud security certification should start at mid slash professional level because you need to know the basic and fundamentals of cloud services and architecture first before securing it, right? Okay, so, but since Microsoft, they put this in an associate level, it's expected to be easier than other cloud service provider me slash professional level security certifications. Okay, but take note. Even this is titled as associate level certification, it's not really a beginner level. Let's talk about the professional level. So I divided these into three different paths and there will only be two certification per path. So let's begin. First path, cloud service provider security certifications. We have AWS certified security specialty and Google cloud certified professional cloud security engineer. Both are certification specialization and considered to be mid or professional level. Both covers data protection, identity access management, network infrastructure security, such as cloud native security, VPC, firewalls, DDoS, and many more. For AWS, it covers many different secure services, such as WAF, vulnerability management, compliance, and focus heavily in operations like logging, monitoring, posture management, etc. So the exam cost is 300 US dollars and it's a two hour, 65 questions written exam. For Google Cloud Certified Professional, Cloud Security Engineer, I would say it covers a little less security services, but the advantage is it focuses more on securing software development lifecycle and securing Kubernetes environment. It's a two hour written exam with 50 to 60 questions and it costs 200 US dollars. Then the second path, cloud security management and strategies. And this trust connects one cloud security and another DevSecOps certification. First, we have CCSK or Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge. It consists of various domains such as incident response, infrastructure security, virtualization and containers, 
identity access management, business continuity, information governments, and many more. CCSK cost 395 US dollars and it's a 90 minute multiple choice reading exam with 60 questions. The second one is Certified DevSecOps Leader or CDL by Practical DevSecOps. The exam validates the practical expertise to understand, design, and manage DevSecOps program in an organization. You would be able to conduct gap analysis and work with the organization's DevOps team and ensures that the security is implemented. The exam costs 899 US dollars and it's a 12 hour practical exam. All right, finally, the third path, container security and DevSecOps certifications. Okay, so the core component of DevOps are containers. And of course, with container orchestrator. And the most popular platform is definitely Kubernetes. CKS stands for Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. I would put this as the most important and the most popular container security or DevSecOps certification. The exam covers broad range of best practices for securing container-based applications and Kubernetes platforms during the build, deploy, and runtime. It's a two-hour lab exam, and there's a prerequisite. You must have an active CKA or certified Kubernetes administrator. The exam cost 395 US dollars. The next one, Certified DevSecOps Professional, sometimes we call it CDP, by Practical DevSecOps. It covers various DevSecOps processes, tools, and techniques. It also includes understanding the creation and maintenance of DevSecOps pipelines using SCA, CASD, stands for Static Application Software Testing, DASD, Dynamic Application Security Testing, and Security as a Code. It basically teaches individuals how to mature an organization's DevSecOps program. And the exam cost $899 US dollars and a 12-hour practical hands-on lab exam. Let's talk about the expert level. We have the first path, Cloud Service Provider Security Certifications. We have Practical DevSecOps CDA or Certified DevSecOps Architect. And maybe you're thinking, is this supposed to be under container security and DevSecOps certification, right? Well, there is a certification for that path. This DevSecOps certification is exclusive to AWS. And besides, DevSecOps is really cloud security using DevSecOps practices. Practical DevSecOps claims this is the most comprehensive DevSecOps certification in the world. This certification is designed to implement the DevSecOps principles on AWS by securing compute services, patch management, data and network security, infrastructure as a code, compliance, and many more. The prerequisite is Certified DevSecOps Professional or CDP and recommended to be familiar with AWS. It's a 24-hour lab exam, then another 24 hours to create and send exam reports. And the exam cost 1,199 US dollars. Okay, so the second path, cloud security management and strategies. We have CCSP or Certified Cloud Security Professional by ISC Squared. This is a vendor neutral certification and it's ISC Squared, second most valuable certification. It's just next to CISSP. And just like CISSP, CCSP consists of six domains. This includes cloud data security, cloud application security, cloud security operations, cloud platforms and infrastructure security, and many more. The reason why this is on a higher tier or expert level, because it requires minimum of five years IT experience, of which three years in cybersecurity and one year in one or more of the six domains. The exam cost 599 US dollars, and this is a three hours multiple choice reading exam with 125 questions. Finally, the third path, 
Container Security and DevSecOps. We have Practical DevSecOps CDE or Certified DevSecOps Expert. This is an upgrade of Practical DevSecOps CDP or Certified DevSecOps Professional. Practical DevSecOps claims is the most comprehensive DevSecOps certification in the world. This is designed to write custom roles for OS hardening, infrastructure as a code, compliance as a code, vulnerability management at scale, container security, and many more. The prerequisite for this certification for this exam is Certified DevSecOps Professional or CDP and recommended to have basic understanding in application security practices like CASD, DASD, etc. The price is not so bad. It costs only 1,199 US dollars and it's a 24 hour hands on lab exam, then another 24 hours to create and send exam reports. I forgot to mention all practical DevSecOps certification bundles includes training videos, 60 day lab access, 30 minute session with the instructor and the actual exam. So what do you think? Are you disappointed? Alibaba, Huawei, IBM, and Oracle are not in the list. Well, I don't see a real certification value from these vendors. The only reason why we see people have these certifications in LinkedIn, because they are required to take it. I will rather get other cybersecurity certifications than these cloud vendors. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.